obviously, as they are racing th through the slides, we're good to go. All right, all right, all right. Quick jump into the game, Terrana Stand. That is a playground for a warden. Of course, uh... Infi, a very smart player himself, he is more than aware that he's going to be facing a Warden. Uh, he was leaving this map in, allowing the Warden to be played, trying to get a counter ready, and Infi oftentimes is quite creative in his own way. Yeah, and if we have a Warden, this game is probably going to go later, and that's where Infi thrives. Will the Light allow him an expansion with four Crypt Gargoyles? That is what Infi has to achieve. That's when he's the strongest. Or will we see an Infi that's just tower pushing three times? That's a lot of possibilities here in the series. At the start here, seems like a fast expansion for Infi. Wasn't perhaps trying that so much yesterday, um, but here Terna stand the most defensive map I think we have by far in the pool always lends itself very well to expansion play. Can you get the level 2? Ring for the DK isn't bad. Oh, 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 but look at the warden items. Oh my god. Slippers and big mana. Okay. That's already a bit problematic for Infi Just King Fee. to the creeps. What? There wasn't even an enemy there. Bro. That's... Uh, well, that's less that's XP bad. for the warden. All right, looking for the silver lining. Yeah, that is a good characteristic trait. Um, where is the silver lining for Infi going to be? Is the question. All right, pretty aggressive early on, with only a level two warden. Wants to see if he can do any kind of meaningful damage here, which is very unlikely. Warden at the moment still very weak, but with more levels. That will change. Meaningful support is coming in for the rest of the scene. Thank you, Van Hammy, for the prime sub. And also Taker and Edo for the raids. That is very nice. We rarely get raids. And now twice on a wonderful Saturday morning. Hope you had good streams, boys. So, one with a telly staff now, as uh, one does get. And then there's one tar- Well, there's two targets, actually. Ghouls, Acolytes, what you decide to go for. That's another kill here. Infi in trouble four minutes in. Oh my god, he's gonna lose that Acolyte as well. He already lost two ghouls unnecessarily. Uh, I think the Acolyte should survive though. Light region, yeah, pretty good. Okay, so the Warden isn't quite level 3 yet. Lawlight has started the tech. Um, and it's not yet setting up a counter expansion. But one would assume that it has to be attempted at some point. I guess so. It is close to level 3, tech is running. Everything else would be a great surprise. And Infi is looking for it already. DK on a scouting mission. Ghouls in proximity sees, hey, there's nothing here. All right, then I can creep. But that is yet another kill. And that is level three. And that is now a very powerful level two shot. Oh, actually doesn't decide yet. Might need the level two fan of knives. Grab the blanket, go to party. Yeah. He's following the DK to the party, apparently. Level 2 Shadow Strike does some good damage. But there's no boots on the Warden, so she can't put in that many right clicks. And of course, the next move is expected to be the natural creep. But Lawlight here actually going for the lab creep. Nice little play here, but good scout by Infi. He's staffing in. What can he achieve here? Oh, you're once again from the future. Here's the telly staff now. He's already hurt, and there's a shredder with a couple of right clicks and some blocks. DK might be in trouble with the ticking damage. And nope, just get the kill. A little bit of extra regen from the blight. All right, smooth and so smart little plays. And now Berserker and Shredder might be in jeopardy. Yeah, great creep track here by Infi. This is really well done. A couple of losses in the early game weren't exactly necessary, but if he gets some big kills here, this could be very meaningful. Oh, Warden. Is there Blink? Now there is. Uh-oh, and a Shadow Strike too. Infi has no TP after that oh. sweet sequence on oh. the lab. This is bad. Ticks down to the creeps. 120 XP. Oh. That is not what you want. Oh, that's sad. Infi had exactly 30 seconds this game where he was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> when it's so sad, Remo, why are you laughing? Uh, you know, tragedy and comedy are oftentimes closely linked, as the Greeks already knew. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, 
maybe the fast expansion can result in a huge goal lead and supply lead later on. But Infi is certainly uh, yeah, not having an optimal game, that's to say the very least. It was the big mana invested. Silver lining Neo grasping at straws. So that one's gone for the later game. And there's no fan of knives at the moment against a lot of ghouls. But there's no necropolis. Infi is tacking. These acolytes that are falling now will not helping him in, in the mining. And there's no damage done really. He can just staff out. Oh, or blink and do some more damage. But the coil is there to the rescue finally. Disastrous early game for Infi. Yeah, um, this is looking bad. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. But even if you're behind, even if you haven't had the best early game, uh, mask orgs and a tier three timing can still oftentimes work wonders. But there's only one crit, right? Wait, did he make a second? I think he did, but I don't know. No, he did not. What? He's short on lumber. And it's also no gargs. He's taking straight to tier three, adding a slaughterhouse. Um, okay. I'm confused. Now, Infi here, not playing gargoyles. Of course, gargoyles aren't necessarily needed, but they are much easier to execute than a late game fiend army against a big night elf army. Infi here trusting in his ability to manage the huge undead army later on with tier 3. With Frenzy and Destroyers and Orb, there will still be a potent timing that Infi is looking towards. But Lola is trying to quickly get ready. How much time is there? Seems like there's plenty of time. I'm the tech only halfway through and then we need Frenzy and Destroyers and all that. So, I feel like the Warden should be level 5 by then, shouldn't she? Well... Oh, with missed coils and kill duels like this, certainly, obviously also a lot of creeps, jumps out, and no, not much damage done while draining some mana that can now not be used for creeping, slowing Infi down further and further, and I am really surprised to see Infi with fiends. It is the next crypt now, but yeah, a fiend commitment it is the perfect map and the perfect setup for Gargs, and he's not using it. Curious. And of course, with Gargs, you can be aggressive right away, threaten the expansion maybe, threaten some uh, Wisps, force some reactions, creep in the meantime. But Lawlight, his side of the map, has been completely untouched this whole game. Infi never once made it across the enemy bridge, and the Warden could just do whatever she wanted. Even got a hero kill, of course, earlier on, and this means now she's level 5 already. And this is where oftentimes we would see a Panda second. Yep, can you get up? Oh, blink! Shadow Strike! Off we go! That's a guaranteed kill. Infi, almost uh, StarCraft esque, how he constantly has to rebuild his workers. But you know, Lawlight, I think he's so far ahead. He doesn't even want to go for a second hero. It's just Warden level 6 and having fun. Yeah, this is a, a wonderful game by Lawlight. Playing the Warden here excellently, as people expect him to do. Warden. Hurt now, has to be a little bit careful, perhaps here, Coil Nova might be a danger. But then again, that's only level 2, how dangerous is it in the end? Right on, with the Ring of the Archmagi and the Gloves of Haste a little more threatening. Or still on the DK as well, Alchemist 3rd. That is kinda Infi seeing into the future as he goes with Heal Spray, expecting more AoE damage, or AoE damage in the first place with Fan of Knives and maybe Breath of Fire, but at the moment, doesn't hold much value, I think. Saibambucha with the resub as well. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, the that's something I haven't heard in 10 years. Trinke Fanta, Saibambucha. Ah, that's what that's from. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh <my> God. <laughs> it's been a while. I did not put two and two together there. All right, Tome of Retrain, Ward now with Blink Fan, and against that, the Alchemist can work out pretty well, but ideally you want to have more levels. DK4, Lich 3, Alchemist 2 at least you would like. But in the meantime, the Warden is again up to no good. And of course now, she's hunting for that level 6. And 
Jeez, close in fees. Alchemist makes a lot more sense now that we have the Fano Knives. We also have Ancients of Wind coming for probably talents even later on. And the hunt goes on, man. Infi is a little bit uh, distracted, but the first big push of the Chinese towards Law Lion. Expo up for grabs. And here comes the reaction. Is this Knight of Army enough to hold? Warden doesn't have that much mana. Book of the Dead summoned, and there is. Oh! There is no abolish. He forgot about the upgrade. Oops. It's kind of a big deal. No wisps immediately available for the detonate. Infi perhaps having a decent start to the fight. But of course the warden, if she gets more kills, she will unlock the huge ult. 5.5 though. Still a long way. And this is that. Oh, multi-kill with the fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All decimated. Expo still standing. Lolite buying time. Needs to rebuild, of course. Lots and lots and lots of dry. It's time for bears seem to be over for now. Infi's push still alive. But oh my god. What? I thought it's, it's half a level. Where did it's half a level come from? Here's the Avatar of Vengeance. There's a lot of corpses. That's gonna be spirits. And that's Infi's demise. What a game by Lolliet. Absolutely marvelously played Warden. Infi again looking not too confident and not too convincing either, to be honest. Um, high notes for Infi here. They're... A few and far between, honestly. It wasn't even very creative. It wasn't even something tricky. It was pretty unimaginative, to be honest, and also not well executed. Um, Infi seems to have the worst shape, perhaps, out of all the players so far we've seen. Yeah, the, we have seen Fly with a couple of uh, hero losses, of course, but that's what you kind of expect from a Fly. And at least it was entertaining. Infi... Definitely a bit disappointing, unfortunately, but isn't it a blessing to see Lawline with his favorite hero finally with the ultimate unlocked? This is gonna be fun, man. After yesterday, where not much came together and Lin kind of squashed him, starting the day like this is perfect. Yeah, he's definitely having a lot more fun now. The Warden loves to jump into the Echo line, of course, as we see here. Few more kills. There's one single uh, sliver of hope for Infi, and that is that now the warden doesn't really get stronger anymore, unless she gets level nine. Yeah. Um, but that is the only consolation prize he has. Oh, well, you can maybe hope that Lolite is suffering from narcolepsy, just falls asleep for two minutes, and then there might be a chance. But you nope. He's feasting on these acolytes. And, and again, <laughs> this one kill after the next. And when the warden is needed, she just stabs home. Good girl. And what do you do now? Supply is rather even, but one player has an ultimate and the other player has four, three, two heroes. We have abolish now against the Wand of the Wind. There's hardly any bears here. It's like only, only range almost for Lolliet. And at the moment, there's not many spirits because there haven't been corpses in quite a while. This is where losing dryads can actually benefit you. Alchemist in a bit of trouble. Infi with solid fight. Lots of hero focus now. Warden dodges the coil with the blink. Alchemist catches more and more of these venomous spears. And there's a reveal. Oh boy. Oh, level three? Another save? Nope, not against that fan oh, on knives. <laughs> glorious. Warden juiced up, jumps in, kill and level, le like level 7.3, she's unstoppable. Yeah, great damage here on the Warden, 20k on her. Of course, as you guys probably know, latest patch, the Warden fan of knives hits more targets, two more targets on level three fan. And I remember very distinctly, uh, at Rawland, Lawlight was the loudest voice telling me almost yelling at me that this buff doesn't matter. <laughs> Tell you what, sometimes <laughs> it can be quite nice. Especially when facing big armies. Yep. Late game against human and late game against undead. It is certainly a blessing and they they took this change uh, uh, with a happy heart. And it just rinse and repeat. Just rinse and repeat. Can't you build a ziggurat there? So the warden doesn't have the spell, uh, the 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 space to jump in. 
Yeah, I guess so. That's, that's the thing another player doesn't know, though, where exactly the warden can blink. Does Infi know? Maybe. Well, it's time for exclamation mark fanboy, but if you play against Happy, there's certainly no spot to blink at that uh, part of the map. I mean, once the warden is here, level 6 onward, and just jumping around everywhere, this rare... We've also seen Happy crumble before. True. Happy normally, though, has a more efficient early game, better tempo, better creeping, better levels, better everything, and then squashes the warden before she gets to this point. But yeah, this is where every knight wants to be, because here is where you have some fun. Oh yeah. Lawlight could play this game until the end of days. Sweet little burrow dodge, but what does it help if there's reveal again? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Warden down to 50%. The nuke is getting a bit stronger. Blinks out. Zeppelin in. Dodges the shot. Air superiority clearly on Lawlight's side with the hippos. Out. Oh, web. Focus. Oh, Warden's hurt. Blinking out. Is there? No, there's no, no room for improvement anymore. Lawlight with a dominant performance. 1 0 oh, exactly the way he needed it. Strong play. Uh, Infi took the risk. He left Terranus in the pool against Lawlight. You know exactly what that's gonna mean. He thought he was gonna be able to deal with the Warden. Turns out he wasn't. And to be honest, it was mostly sloppy play. Like losing two ghouls in the early game, that's a big deal. That is never supposed to happen. And beyond that also, we saw a few other errors. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Infi doesn't seem to be quite up to the task so far. It's still, I'm, I'm still thinking back a bit to that one moment in the late early game, early mid game. Infi with the creep check on the right hand side, finally getting some momentum. And then Lawlight squashed that momentum with a sledgehammer, dude. That like gave him a slither of hope just so he stays in the game a little longer to then have fun. That was brutal. And once again, this is a round robin group stage with Moon and Lin in the group as well. If you want to have a shot at the top positions, you need to win this match against Infi 2-0. There's no room for error. Just one map could mean that you get third place and that is certainly not what you want in the Ascension phase. Yeah, if things keep going the way we've been seeing, then... It seems like Infi will clearly get last. And then it's going to be a battle for the other three spots. Important win for Lawlight indeed. Don't want to go down 0-2, which Infi is about to. Until he can seriously find some hidden strength, some hidden knowledge, something. Just I would love to also just to see some uh, innovation, maybe? Some imagination? I mean, <laughs> the execution isn't there, and the game plan isn't there, and the strategy isn't there. I I'm sorry, but this is disappointing so far. Remo hates Infi. True. The grudge. The grudge. Sean, thank you for this five-year resub. As a human player, it's sad that Infi has abandoned us completely. He played human at Star War. Come on, it's been only like eight months since he played human last. It's fine. It only took us to uh, go back to one point patch one point two six, and then it was like, "Hey, I can tower push here. Let's go." <laughs> um, but that didn't last too long. Twisted Meadows is next, and several options for Lawlight. If he enjoyed that Warden play, just do it again. Yesterday in the weekly, he played a lot of Fire Lord still. That would be quite a sign that he can style on Infi and do whatever he wants. Is that really what you want to do in the TP League group stage? We'll see about that. Thank you, Vicious, for the 84-month resub. That is a long time. That's a long time. She's my dog. Time. We're jumping into map number two. It is time. Terrana stand. Big map again. Very good for expanding once again. Hit and run macro. All that stuff. You know, our chat and our voters, uh, channel point voters, see this as 50-50. Right. <laughs> Lol I versus Infi 4 map two. <laughs> These fools. What does Twitch chat know? What did Twitch chat ever know? Certainly not good odds. Lolliot, hands off the keyboard. No hands gaming oh. by the Phantom Aces player and Infi pulling a ghoul pull. Yeah, big gamble. He was trying to cancel the Ancient of War. You can certainly do that at the shop creep 
And you might also be able to do it at the null creep, the bigger green. But the smaller green, that definitely doesn't work. Lord Light goes for a safe, safe opening creep and gets rewarded. Can't be punished here. And this is so painful for Envy because, of course, this costs him so much lumber. Yeah, that will probably require... A Another Necropolis, there it is. No damage against the Ghoulpool, man. The anticipation of Lawlight. <sighs> Remo, I hate this observer. <laughs> is that the guy from Anaheim? I think it's okay to do it on the frog, though, because the frog is the most stupid looking model in the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. And the sound is okay. I forgive him, Remo. You, yeah, 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 yeah. I shouldn't be that harsh. Quack, 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 quack. Only if he just does it on the skink, right? Dude, that scares the hell out of me. <laughs> you, you should never click on the skink. Never. Almost scared you as much as when you watched Blair Witch Project for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in the day, dude. It was, yeah, it was, I was a lot smaller. What do we got? Yeah, that, that was just projection on my part. I saw that at 17 years old <laughs> and I couldn't sleep... For, I want to say, three days, that's not true. But for one night, I couldn't sleep. It was, uh, I was terrified, for real. Back in the day, when we still had feelings. What? Second engine of war, in the base. Well, I had expecting a tower push? Yeah. Plan B, desperation tower push, is what he's expecting here. He came with aura first, can't even try to go for last hits. But he can perhaps... Slow the Warden down a bit. She got full XP here. Only the Gauntlets, which are probably the worst item here. It's certainly also a fake out. Like, there's still a TP. Lolite certainly saw this. Tech is running. Yeah, the nice uh, thing about this Ancient of War is he keeps you safe in the main base. Yep. And if you don't get pushed, at least later you can use it for creeping as well. Of course, it's going to take a little while to get in the right spot. But I don't mind this at all by Lawlight. He's feeling very confident, rightly so, in his warden play. He just wants to make sure he doesn't get cheesed out right away. Yeah, and once again it shows you don't want to fall to a cheese here in TP League in the group stage. Every map matters. Better safe than sorry. You scale like crazy into the late game. So play it safe early, then catch up a little bit. Uh, tech timing is a bit behind, but Infi doesn't have coils. You can creep with two engines of war and your law lion, so your creep game is the best in the world anyway. And you'll find some targets here. Infi also, you know, I don't wanna only bash him today. Also sometimes just a bit unlucky. Like exactly when the DK goes away, that's when the warden shows up. Are we gonna get three ghouls here, dude? No way. Again, he lost two ghouls early game. This last one, I think, should at least survive, but again, this is not supposed to happen. A warden level one shouldn't kill anything. <sighs> but things are just not going, not going well for Infi. Uh, not going well for Infi, yeah. We got Berserkers now and the Shadow Priest as well as, of course, the Engine of Wars can't produce when they're used for creeping. We got two items. Uh, which one? We don't know just yet. But the drops in the uh, first map were pretty good. It's double gauntlets against the nuke. It's heal potions also against the nuke. Infi's Hail Marys will go into nowhere, except if it goes for this creep jack, which is looking pretty fine. Ancient of War will be taken out. Maybe the Berserker as well. Oh, if only he had a coil. Nice TP. No light saves everything. Interesting that the Berserker is so important to him that he used the TP for it. Nothing else would have died. Only the Burzy. But of course, that is the strongest unit he has right now. One Ancient of War goes down, which is kind of annoying. But the good thing is, he has a backup. That's right. And a juicy, juicy camp at the lab. Well, I had no flaws just yet. No points of attack for Infi just yet. An entire level ahead thus far. And it's not that easy to creep. The ghouls will take a lot of damage as we have no cannibalize. But what we have is a straight up tier 3 play. No mass expos, no mass garks again. Just going for the timing push one more time. And if that's the case, it's going to be all about levels, levels, levels for the warden. She needs to level quick, and she definitely needs to be level 4 by the time the push hits. She would love to be level 5 already, but I think it might even be doable without. If then, she can get more kills and get level 5 after. 
All right, Infi has been trying to go for lots of attacks. None of them have been as successful so far. This next one, hopefully for him, is going to look better. Okay then, ghouls hunting. Super late graveyard for Infi as well. Trying to get some damage in, but all XP just on Lawlight's account as well as the boots of Kel'Thalas. That small right click damage alongside big right click damage of a Shredder. Wisp being evacuated, maybe a cheeky surround. Infi going for a kill. He wants that Berserker, but there is a deny. Is DK in trouble here? He's got the Tele Stab, so I guess he should be fine. And there we go, board level 4 already. You can easily get more kills. And the DK is sacrificing so much of his own creeping. No level 3 still. He took out the Berserker. Alright, let's hope that that was worth all this trouble. He's 1.4 levels down. Lores are late, but Slawlight again playing the most defensive game possible. With an AP even now. Also the Shredder helping out a ton against this push that we've just seen. Archer stay at home. Also super safe. All he needs offensively is the Warden. And the Warden's looking for a bit of base aggression now herself. There is no narrow. Ooh, that's pretty greedy. And it's going to threaten the Acolytes right away. DK has a Tele Staff. He's not staffing. DK, what are you doing? Well, um, trying to kill archers. Here comes the reaction. Lich is there. Infi with an ultra fast tech. Orb is up in a second, but he has no gold for that. And Slaughterhouse also seems a bit late, so... This is... What a weird timing this is, Remo! Ghoul Frenzy is halfway done when the Slaughterhouse finishes. Did he simply forget the graveyard? I'm not quite sure. Honestly, I'm surprised the tech is still so fast. I mean, this was a ghoul pull opening. The tech still arrived quickly indeed for Infi. But you don't just need the tech. Of course, you at least need some units. And how much does he have? One fiend and eight ghouls. The ghoul amount especially is really good. Against the warden, by the way, who doesn't have a fan of knives. I wonder if Lawlight should retrain here. E Ellie Law, thank you for the 17 month. Warden with the Sobi mask. Oh, the oh dream. Kabuki warrior powers unlocked. Yeah, maybe sell the gloves of haste. Always a little bit of an issue with the warden that you have very little item uh, space because you need staffs, you need an orb, etc., etc. No retrain just yet, and she's greeted by a coil nova. She's a vulnerable target. The DK right away. Shadow strike, of course, lends itself to that. Orb of Venom should soon be picked up as well. More damage coming from this. Double AP in the main is very good defensive setup. Quite expensive as well, though. And that can't be used for much except the defense. Infi waiting for destroyers. Trying to creep up. I've rarely seen such an empty undead inventory on Twisted Meadows at the 10 minute mark. Like, there's almost nothing. Lich is pimped a little bit, but that's an inventory that you can get on Echo Isles, for example, in two minutes. Yeah, Infi falling back. I don't even think he saw the APs. I think it was the right call to fall back because of the APs. Um. And Lawlight now is just allowed to continue creeping. Pen of Energy can also be quite nice on the Warden. Infi is not going for what I believe is the best counter to a Warden. I think the best counter to a Warden is rush tier 3, then go for the expansion on your side of the map, get the Dark Ranger, or perhaps even skip her, not sure, and go for a push and pin the Night Elf down in his base for a long time until your expansion is up. But of course, as we can plainly see, there is no expo here for Infi. He crept a little bit more, but so did Lawlight. And guess who's almost level 5? Yeah, that's her inches away, and ghouls will fall in seconds. We were only, quote-unquote, on Shadow Strike, but the hero kill potential is quite good. Crowd control from that Shadow Strike, from Dryads. Infi trying to get some kills. Is there a destroyer up already? I don't think so. Nope. So Regio is running through. No magic damage. Warden reigns freely. And Infi's push is being slowed down. I really like the building positioning here by Lawlight. Ancient of War and two APs protecting the front of the base. Very hard here for Infi to properly go for a real attack. 
But the DK is getting uh, nuked quite hard. That's it. There's an invul potion, a heal scroll as well. But there's also uh, maybe one more shadow strike. Gotta be careful. Stefan in. Uses the moon juice. And now she's filled to at least one third again. Infi knows. There's another combo. DK, invul potion. Nicely timed. Counter nuke. Bears are finding a connection towards fiends though, which is never what you want. Need great kiting. And then the switch is happening onto ghouls and onto the DK, who of course has no invul anymore and the cleanest victory here by lawli at phantom aces player takes the point without dropping a map well done by lawli nice to see him here succeed with his trademark hero good warden play but what was that by he was just stand there standing there accepting his fate